Hi folks, welcome back to the uh, B29 restoration project. Uh, like I said, the last video, both outer wing panels are basically ready to be fiberglassed. And that's kind of what I'm in the process of doing right now. I'm getting everything prepped. Um, I'm gonna glass the entire wing all over again, just because there's quite a few areas where we either replace sheeting or the the original fiberglass got kind of sanded through in the process of sanding all the the paint and primer off so the fiberglass i use is a 1.4 ounce uh, e-glass it's either a style 1080 or a style 108 it just kind of depends on what i can find another thing i do is i do not do a flow coat flow coat is just unnecessary weight and a whole lot of sanding and for those who know me personally i absolutely loathe sanding that's probably the one thing i hate most outside of scratch building cockpits but <laughs> uh, instead of the flow coat what i do is i use pill ply um, you can buy pill ply from pretty much any composite supplier they have specially made stuff uh, typically anywhere from about three bucks a yard up to ten to twelve dollars a yard depending on what you get um, typically instead of buying the really expensive or the purpose-made peel ply what i will do is i will go to any just local fabric supplier me even walmart joann's um uh, what's another one hobby lobby i mean pretty much any local fabric supply they'll have it and what you want to do is you want to get 100 percent polyester dress liner sheath lining or china silk those are the three names it typically goes by i believe walmart considers it china silk i think michael's fabric or they consider it china silk you can even get the stuff off of amazon i can post the link to where i got the last bit of stuff off of amazon and it's typically about two bucks a yard so it's not significantly cheaper but when you go and start buying 25 to 50 yards of it it, it adds up over time so on this particular airplane i like using well any built-up structure, I, I actually like using the dress liner or the china silk peel ply 100% uh, polyester fabric more than I do the actual purpose-made peel ply, especially the stuff like the Econo stitch peel ply. It tends to be a little bit harder to remove. And if you have a really lightweight built-up wooden structure, something that's sheeted with like 16th of an inch or 3 32nd that's been sanded really thin, there's actually been a couple of instances where I've actually ripped the sheeting off of the structure. Um, so yeah, that's the, the peel ply, the 100% the polyester fabric, that I think actually releases a little bit nicer on a built up structure than some of the more purpose made stuff. But all I'm doing right now is just kind of cutting out fabric layers. All right, folks, I got everything kind of situated here. See, we got the uh, left wing panel here on the table. I'm gonna start getting this thing ready to, to glass. I'm gonna grab one of our glass layers that we cut out earlier. I am going to just roughly place it here on top of the, on the bottom of this wing panel. Kind of put it in place. I 
and then slowly start doing a little bit of trimming here and there just to kind of get it where we want it like I said there's this big hump here in the middle that's in a cell we'll have to take care of that the overlap on the back is not quite as important since that will get trimmed off pretty uh, pretty flush with it and then I typically I like to leave more of the wingtip overlap more than I do the the wing root just because you got to go around the, the corner and then I'll also typically hang the wingtip off over the edge of the table and then I'll use just clamps um, clothes pins pretty much whatever I can on the wingtip to help drape it or drag it across the the curvature of the wingtip a couple of tools you'll need obviously you'll need a cup something to mix the epoxy in you'll need something to spread it with and I typically like to have a, a brush I'll use some chip brushes you can get a box of almost a hundred of them off Amazon for 25 or 30 dollars or you can go to Harbor Freight or something you don't need to don't need to spend any exuberant amount of money on brushes they just they get thrown away but here you see we got the the fabric layer just kind of put in place so And then for this initial layer, I'm just going to pour a nice small bead pretty much down the whole length of the wing. That'll soak through the epoxy fairly quickly. Then I'm going to use my, my card here to just grab the epoxy and start spreading it across the surface. <laughs> 